Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 10th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the world update, looking at space weather, world weather, and earthquakes. And it has been a very busy day. Looking at the sun here the last 48 hours, large plasma filament erecting from the southwestern limb there, and it is stretching across to the equator almost connected with the incoming plasma filament on the northwestern limb. Looking here at outgoing images, we have that small sunspot region to talk about, and a small CME squirted out today. The coronal hole just ahead of all of the activity. Looking there at the northwestern limb, Looking here at the sun in another light, and you can really see the coronal holes. The coronal hole in the southern region stretching to the equator. Large plasma filament connected. So stay safe, stay aware, and stay tuned to Morning Dew. Looking here at our geospace magnetosphere, as our solar winds have calmed down, we are at about 303, or sorry, 330 kilometers per second as opposed to the 450 that we've been at for a couple days. Looking here at the real-time solar wind, and you can see it has dramatically dropped off. 300 and, is that 16? 336 kilometers per second after being up and steady at about 450. And you can see the phi angle has completely flipped. And have a look at our Schumann resonance for today. Power of 16, 600, whichever that means. I'm not sure the 600 number, what that's about. But we're at a power quality of 19. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours. And of course, we're going to start out here with the unprecedented earthquake event in the Loyalty Islands region as they have received over 50 earthquakes, 5.0 and greater in the region. Can't even get them all on the map here in the 24 hour period. So Loyalty Islands region after a large 7.7 .7 early this morning has been aftershocking all day and large earthquakes up, uh, up to 6.7 as well, but 5.0 and greater. I've never seen anything like this on the planet act like Loyalty Islands region right now. So who knows what is happening right now? We could have another island forming there. And we just recently had 4.8 here, Fiji Islands, pretty deep as well. 4.6 there, Indonesia, 4.6, uh, that's not Nicaragua. Tajikistan, there we go, 4.6 Tajikistan, 10 kilometer depth. South America, only seeing a 5.2. Chile, as well, 4.4 Argentina, or sorry, 4.3 Argentina and 4.4 Northern Chile. Earthquake swarm, Puerto Rico has died off. Gee, I wonder where that went. 4.4 there is in Nicaragua. Across the North American plate today, largest recorded, 3.7. Nevada, as well, 2.5 there, northward to the Cascades. Very quiet Cascades and Alaska right now, as all of the action is in the southwestern part of the Ring of Fire. Very active indeed. 
A lot of the islands in the region are reporting shaking, and I imagine they would with all of, with all of these large earthquakes. And man, oh man, it's been going all day since the 6.1 in Bengkulu, Indonesia, right beside Krakatoa. And then instantly there was a 7.7 .7 Loyalty Islands region, and they did not stop. It seems in the live stream right now, you can come check it out, but it seems that the large earthquakes have stopped in the region. Looking here at the last seven days, pointing out some regions that are very active and as well pointing out the quiet North American plate. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center as, wow, very busy day indeed. It's going to be tough to uh, try to find all of the erupting volcanoes with all of the earthquakes that are in this list right now. But already, looking at the satellite imagery here across North America, extreme cold conditions, winter conditions across the United States. And here we are, Reventador in Ecuador, Arang, Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Epico in Russia. Just trying to find here, earth or volcanoes, volcanoes. Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Era in Japan. So many, and here, here are the tsunami watches that went out this morning, and they were canceled. Uh, Dokono in Indonesia. Sinabung, Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Etna in Italy, Fuego, Pacaya. So that's about 15 volcanoes getting updated today. Very active indeed. Many earthquakes and volcanoes. Extreme cold conditions across Canada, breaking records in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Coldest temperatures ever recorded. It's colder in... I mean, Canada is as cold as the Arctic right now. Or sorry, as cold as the Antarctic. Uh, minus 45 in some places. Looking over the Indian Ocean, the only tropical storm that is spinning, named Frari. Also, we do have uh, Tropical Cyclone number 20, who has just formed and is heading south, southeastward, just east of New Zealand not going to affect humanity with that storm. We do have stormy conditions across Central Europe as well. Extreme cold conditions, Belgium. Winter conditions all across Northeast and Eastern Europe. Storms through Italy. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorEarth. Meteo Mike starting out here in Calgary, Alberta, as yes, it is bone chilling cold, dangerously cold here in Calgary, but it is even colder in parts eastward towards the Hudson's Bay as that large high pressure polar vortex has locked itself in and is bringing these cold temperatures with it. And just wait to see how far south they go Looking at that very strong high pressure ridge. Parts of Saskatchewan, Manitoba, minus 37 sustained over the next three to four days. Winter storm developing northwestern United States and heading southeastward through Colorado and into Texas. Now watch for this storm to bring some extreme weather conditions as tropical convergence line here with the polar vortex and then we've got these very warm temperatures coming in from the gulf so watch for extreme weather breakout in these regions and as well a very mixed bag of precipitation which most of southeastern united states are already seeing blanketed with freezing rain overlooking the west coast low pressure system moving in Sunday into Monday then that's going to be a big weather maker for the United States cold temperatures look at that minus 12 minus 13 in parts of New Mexico and Texas in the long range forecast here stay warm stay safe 
aware and prepared, my friends and family. Unprecedented changes are happening across the planet. Unprecedented low pressure systems are spinning across the planet. Massive, deeper, lower level troughs. Not able to break down, so they just get bigger and bigger. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system moving through Greece and into Turkey throughout the week. Watch for extreme weather conditions through there. High pressure ridge moving southward into the United Kingdom and parts of Central Europe. Going to bring some pretty cold conditions and as well dry air. Overlooking Russia, cold temperatures are continuing there as well. Minus 45 in some regions. High pressure ridge dominating the region. Low pressure system coming out of South China Sea later this week will bring some rain to Japan. And then looking over here, the Pacific Ocean, still this large low pressure system which is spinning around. Heading into the Alaskan Peninsula, watch for an uptick in seismicity as the center of the low heads into there. Overlooking a monsoon rain regions, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rains heavier towards the Philippines and westward into Sumatra. Overlooking Australia, low pressure ridge still hanging around and bringing a lot of moisture from the north into central and right across the continent. Spring like conditions, rain. And hopefully a relief to all of the people who are suffering from the extreme heat throughout parts of Australia. Central America, not too much to talk about. South America, daily evaporation rains, but as well a low pressure system moving into the center of the continent later in the week will intensify these, the rains, as you can see. And as well along the convergence line, Argentina, Chile border, watch for some pretty heavy rains. Overlooking Africa, not too much to talk about. Extreme heat, of course, through central regions. And of course, this low pressure system, which is still spinning. And as I forecasted two days ago, it's still taking its sweet time moving southward and watch for the coastline here extreme weather as it tries to leave being mixed in with another low pressure ridge convergence line drawing it tightly whipped so extreme weather for south africa extreme cold conditions for north america and as well europe later in the week and as well a winter storm moving in to central united states Leave here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern as we are as cold as the Antarctic right now. Minus 37, minus 41 with the wind chill. Northern hemisphere region. Watch as that low pressure system still continues to spin in the Pacific and as well the Atlantic. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.